I'm LP Master 6 and welcome back to Pokemon Yellow. Last time we trekked through Mountain Moon and made it to Cerulean City. And we cross a temporary point of no return there, but that's okay because Cerulean City is great. I feel like this is where the game really picks up and opens up just a little bit. And I'm quite excited for it. But first, let's talk to Pikachu while I go over some things. Oh, Pikachu loves it. He is laughing, presumably. But I know I've been t saying a bunch of boring facts about the game's development and other stuff, so I'll make this really quick. I forgot to mention Satoshi Tajiri's passion as a child for going out in the forest near his home and collecting insects to study. Uh, eventually, the forest behind his house as a teenager uh, were destroyed with urban development, as is a problem in much of the world. Some of these buildings became arcades, however, on top of the forest where he used to catch bugs. So he would spend a lot of time in arcades and become a game freak. We know the rest of the story from there, but the idea is that kids can still be connected with creatures and nature, even though they're spending more time indoors now. They don't get to collect insects anymore. So that was part of the basis for this game. Though I do not condone the collecting and mistreatment of insects because they are animals and should be treated as living beings, which they are. But that's vegan commentary. You don't want to hear that. What you do want to hear is this neat fact about Geodude I forgot to say. People pick up and throw Geodude at each other like rocks to have Geodude fights, which is another interesting form of animal abuse exclusive to the Pokemon world. One last fact, red and blue were chosen as the games for Western localization instead of red and green because of the American flag. On to Cerulean City, here we go. You're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon? That sounds amusing. I appreciate your support, buddy. That bush in front of the shop is in the way. There might be a way around. Ooh. Oh, this, oh, this, this. That's my anime oddish impression. I don't have a good Sanshrew impression. Babasar! I was really proud of my Bulbasaur impression as a kid. Bulbasaur is the grass starter for the games if you're not playing Pokemon Yellow. He is also my favorite Pokemon of all time. I take care of injured Pokemon. I nurse this Bulbasaur back to health. It needs a good trainer to take care of it now. I know. Would you take care of this Bulbasaur? Absolutely. Red got Bulbasaur. Do you want to give a nickname to Bulbasaur? Now, uh, lately I've been naming my... Bulbasaur is the same thing. We are actually going to go into lowercase here because I'm perfectly matching with... I don't ever recommend using lowercase because it doesn't match with the style of the games for your name or Pokemon names or item names or anything, so it's obnoxious when people use lowercase. But it does make a nickname stand out, I guess, so it's not that bad. But uh, when I was about eight... I went over to my friend's house and we were going to play Pokemon on our Game Boy Advances with a link cable and everything because we actually did that back then. I was eight in about 2007 and I, uh, he pulled out an old file, quote unquote, of Pokemon Blue. Maybe it was red and uh, I made fun of him because his Bulbasaur was nicknamed Bulby and he said, I didn't do that. My brother must have done that and he got all mad and embarrassed and that's just a memory that sticks out in my head. Of playing Pokemon as a kid. <laughs> so bulby it is. There's no more room for Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll go get him out. Please take care of Bulbasaur. She is a reference to an anime character. I think her name's Melanie in episode 10 where uh, Ash gets his Bulbasaur. Now, Ash started with Pikachu, but he later got all three starters just to represent them in the anime. And so I will be using Bulbasaur on my team, not only because he's my favorite. Which, by the way, is because partially because he's number one in the Pokédex, and I tend to gravitate toward number one. Bulbasaur, the seed Pokémon. It can go for days without eating a single morsel. In the bulb on its back, it stores energy. And you can't find Bulbasaur anywhere. Starter Pokémon are very rare. And I realized we never read Magikarp's Pokédex entry, so I'm going to scroll down to that. But I know it's kind of a cheap cop-out, and everybody who plays Yellow uses the starters... And I'm going to continue to do that. And you might be thinking, whoa, how many Pokemon are there? This is the lowest entry we've got, Eevee. The fish Pokemon, famous for being very unreliable. It can be found swimming in seas, lakes, rivers, and shallow puddles. 
Well, that is that. Let's go get our Bulbasaur out, shall we? I am very excited. I love Bulbasaur. I just love the grass type. Now, you can consider there to be three paths in these Pokemon games. Essentially, there's an easier mode, a normal mode, and a harder mode, depending on what starter you get. Each game seems to, seems to make it harder on you if you choose one type, kind of middle of the road type, and then they've got a you know, type that seems to make the early game insanely easy. Bulbasaur made things insanely easy. I didn't like the games that much when I thought they were too hard because I kept choosing Charmander. But then I started choosing Bulbasaur and the games became easy and I was like, oh yes. But also I just love the grass type. It's much more unique to have a grass type in games over a, like an earth type, an air type, or of course a water, fire, etc. But just the idea that it's called the grass type. Very interesting. Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill, though. Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon? Amen, brother. Wish we could talk to Chansey. That, Bill. I heard that he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. Uh-oh. That's no good. Alright, logging into someone's PC. We are going to get rid of... Not Grant or Floppy. We're going to get rid of Needy. Worst nickname I've ever come up with. And we're going to get... <laughs> ha! Ha! I forgot about Jizzy Jr. Uh, we're going to leave Jizzy Jr. in the box. As tempting as it is to bring him with us. I don't want to bring up the age rating of these videos. Alright, now let's put Bulby where he belongs. And I know I keep saying he. Uh, that's just a, something I did as a kid. We don't know the actual sexes of our Pokemon here. And that's okay. I'm perfectly okay with that. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Sorry, when I say stuff like that, it brings into mind about how, uh, like, you have these conversations with your parents, like, what if God's a woman, and then my mom would be like, don't say that, that's ridiculous. Like, why does it matter? But that that's irrelevant to Pokemon right now. Oh, yes, Grass Poison, Tackle, Growl, Leech Seed. Beautiful. We'll get into all that in a little bit. And actually, we are going to move Bulby to the absolute front here so he can get some experience. This Bulbasaur is a very good Pokemon and I'm excited to use him. Uh, sure, we'll go this way. Cerulean City, a mysterious blue aura surrounds it. I didn't know I was gonna say surrounds it. That's why my intonation was off. Cerulean City Pokemon Gym, leader Misty, you get it? Cause she's a water type trainer. Misty, Mist, the tomboyish mermaid. You're a trainer too? Collecting, fighting, it's a tough life. <laughs> Amen, brother. I'm living that life, you know? TFW, the Pokemon faints before you can catch it. Just, I hate relatable memes. I, I already talked about this in like one of my latest videos. Okay, Electrode, use Sonic Boom. Please, Electrode, pay attention. Who's she talking to? Electrode took a snooze. That's right. Electrode is the evolution of Voltorb, the thing that looks like a Pokeball. But we are going to correct another one of my mistakes. I said I would buy an even 10 in Pewter City, but I bought 11. So now I'm only going to buy 9 to even it out. And it's not spending all our money. And plus we got that great ball I'm excited about. Uh, I'm not going to bother with Repel. I'm patient enough to where I don't want to spend my money on it. I want to save as much money as possible. In later games, I will be using Repel just to make editing easier on my life so I don't have to cut out every single wild battle. Everything else here is standard stuff. We already saw what an escape rope did. What do we have? We could sell TMs, but they don't actually sell for much. So nothing important there. Also, TM stands for technical machine. I never went over that. Use Repel to keep bugs and weak Pokemon away. Put your strongest Pokemon at the top of the list for best results. Oh my god. We uh, learned this in Pewter City multiple times. Please get out of the way. Thank you. Have you seen any rare candy? It's supposed to make Pokemon go up one level. Hmm, <laughs> you bet we have. Now, it would have been smart if I saved it for Bulbasaur. I thought about that while editing, and it was too late, so oh well. Trainer tips. 
Pressing B button during evolution cancel cancels the whole process. We don't have to worry about that right now. Grass and caves handled easily. Bike shop. In Japan, the bike shop is called Miracle Cycle. I want a bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it won't get dirty. Actually, that is the canon English name for this bike shop, too. Just not in this game. A plain city bike is good enough for me. You can't put a shopping basket on an MTB. I'm sorry, I'm not a... I never learned how to ride a bike. I can't swim, ride a bike, tie my shoes, tie any sort of knot. Couldn't bathe myself until I was 12, or brush my teeth until I was 12. Okay, 11 and a half for the bathing. These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. Well, we got tons of money. Hi, welcome to our bike shop. Have we got just a bike for you? It's a cool bike, do you want it? One million Poké Dollars. Sorry, you can't afford it. Come back again sometime. You can't afford it no matter what you do. Money caps out one Poké Dollar before that. And that is all of Cerulean City's southern side, so let's go up here. Oh. Oh, he has... <laughs> he has the Viridian City theme in his house for whatever reason. Pokemon badges are owned only by skilled trainers. I see you have at least one. Those badges have amazing secrets. Now then, which of the eight badges should I describe? That's right, he will tell you what stat increases or moves it will let you use. We'll get into field moves later, because that is referring to moves used on the field, but we haven't actually unlocked them yet. And we don't have to worry about not being able to use Flash at any time because we had to get Brock's badge. And he's telling us plenty of mechanics, but I will go ahead and say, I learned this uh, right before recording actually, that the stats increased by badges during battle are raised by 12.5%. Which is not bad. That is not a scoffable amount. Any higher, they become unruly. And we get the names of all the badges. I think that's pretty cool. Whew. So part one has gone up. It went up yesterday, November 21st. Today's uh, November 22nd, 2022. And I got some good feedback. I asked three people for feedback uh, on my videos. My wife said, I don't want to watch them. And then uh, Drew said, I can't watch them. And I said, oops, I accidentally set them to private. You can watch them now. And then he didn't watch them. Uh, he was probably busy though. And Galen said, if I remember, I'll do it. And so since nobody ever did it, I just uploaded them. And then I got feedback, uh, you know, uh, this video is unwatchable, basically, is what my wife said. So thank you guys who have watched it for enjoying it, if you enjoyed it. I think my neat facts are cool. All Pokemon will obey you. That's it. That's all the 8th badge does, and that's pretty powerful. Come visit me anytime you wish. There's nothing in his garbage can. Don't bother rooting through it. However, there is something in his backyard. If I can remember where it is, that'd be great. Rare candy! And we are going to use that on our buddy. Oh my god, Bulby! There you are. We're doing level 11. Didn't learn a new move. For some reason I was thinking he was, but I guess that's level 12. You can look forward to that. Because Leech Seed is not an offensive grass move, so we still need an offensive grass type move. Uh, I'm not going to go up there quite yet. We've got one more building to explore that's being blocked off by a police officer. In yellow, she was changed to be an Officer Ginny lookalike. Uh, it was just a standard male cop in the original games, but Officer Ginny are the bulk of cops in the anime, so it was changed just like the nurses in the Pokemon Centers. These poor people here were robbed. We're positive that Team Rocket is behind this terrible deed. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. And there is no way out of town other than up. I could go ahead and do the gym, but I want to do something first. Saving always gives it away, doesn't it? Oh well. I have no idea how this is going to go. This song has a very special place in my heart and I haven't let you listen to it yet. Yo, Red! You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Red. Oh boy, battle number three. 
Blue wants to fight. It's at this point, once you beat Blue here, you cannot lose to Blue. Every Blue fight from now on, you have to win. But once you get to this point, oh, uh, flying, er, grass is weak to flying, so we are going to swap out for fabric. Who can probably destroy this guy in definitely two hits, maybe one if we're really lucky. Uh, <laughs> the Route 22 blue fight will no longer exist. Nice, one hit, I love it. Well, as long as Bulby gets experience, that's the important thing. Bulby is actually good against ground and rock and water. So is electric. So Misty does not stand a chance, the gym leader, in case you forgot. Uh, we are going to go ahead and show off this move. Please, not sand attack. Not, no, don't do that. Leech seed is not leech life or absorb. It is way different. We'll see what that does here in a second. Please don't do that much. That's too much. That's way too much. But every turn now, we get some of the opponent's health back. Oh, no. We are doing, like, no damage. Oh, I can't emasculate Bulby by pulling out Grant. I'll just use the Mega Punch. So let's talk about Blue. Blue is a great character. I love him. There's not much to say about him, except early in development, there might have been a second rival that would have been Blue's brother. Just a younger brother of Blue. That's all we really know about him. He was completely taken out of the game's files and later builds, though. Oh! We still didn't learn the move I thought we were going to. That's a shame. Alright, let's see if Bulby can finally take something down. Oh no, Hyper Fang. Is that the move? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Let's get you out of here, buddy. Yeah, I hate that we have to do this, but I guess Bulby is a little weak right now, especially compared to our level 22 Pikachu. <laughs> but there was also potentially another rival. In early concept art for the game, there are three trainers. One who would have gotten the third starter. And her official name is Green. She appeared in later installments. And she especially appeared in her original concept design. Uh, in the manga Pokemon Adventures. I'm just sending him out for experience. Obviously he's not going to do anything against Eevee. Man, I struggled with this fight some as a kid. Depending on who my starter was. But it's not that hard in yellow in my opinion. I mean, especially if your Pikachu is level 22. I know, I'm overleveled, I get it. Ooh. Got some crazy good special, which doesn't surprise me. This Eevee is an adversary to behold. But uh, the girl trainer was taken out entirely. It's also possible that you were originally allowed to choose between playing as a boy or a girl. And... Of course, I was taken out, and we just have the characters red and blue. But I also have a talk about Professor Oak, who is one of my favorite characters of all time. I'm just going to keep using Thundershock because Mega Punch has low, low enough accuracy as it is. All right. Hey, take it easy. You won already. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokédex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC. Since you're using his system, go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Well, Bill's a PC whiz, huh? Get it? Bill? Named after Bill Gates. Alright, we need to go kill. Of course. I, You know, I'll meet you back. So I know I keep bringing up all of these characters with nothing to say about them really, just that I like them, Red, Blue, Professor Oak, etc. And that's because the games don't give them that much to talk about them. At least these games, they get expanded on a lot in the anime, of course, and the, well not Blue or Red, but Professor Oak especially, and the manga... Just, they're such simple characters, I think that falls in line with the same way the graphics are appealing. Because they're 
you can insert yourself or people you know into these characters. I used to name my rival Travis because that was my best friend's name in elementary school. And uh, you just imagine yourselves, you and your friends as these characters and traveling the world. It's very nice, very perfect for kids. That's why it seems like a lot of adults now don't get into Pokemon very much. Because if you didn't play it as a kid, I feel like you're not as likely to enjoy it, which you may think makes it objectively worse, and I can get that. Uh, but I think it definitely has a certain magical charm to it, and you gotta really, you gotta really picture it when you pick up these games for the first time as an adult, because you know adulthood ruins your imagination and creativity, etc. Yo, champion making! Here's my advice: the leader Misty is a pro who uses water Pokemon. You can drain all their water with plant Pokemon. Or zap them with electricity. Well, good thing those are our only two Pokemon we're using. We are not going to fight this guy right now. I'm using him to set up a glitch I sort of confusingly mentioned earlier. So we're actually not going to finish the gym right now. Because if you challenge the gym leader and win, you can't fight her gym trainers anymore. I'm more than good enough for you. Misty can wait. So we're only fighting this gym trainer. I would recommend you go ahead and knock out Misty. That's some good experience for an easy fight because you have Bulbasaur and Pikachu at this point. I mean, you won't get Bulbasaur, by the way, if your friendship with Pikachu is too low. She won't hand over Bulbasaur until your friendship is high enough. I've seen some guides say that you have to have this badge uh, to get Bulbasaur, but that's not true. I've had that happen to me once where I was just barely below the friendship. I went and fought Misty and then got Bulbasaur, but that's all a complete coincidence. Uh, yeah, level 19, we cannot handle this. We are gonna have to go train Bulby up some more. Ooh, Supersonic causes confusion, a status that was not on the blackboard earlier in the game in Viridian City. So we'll have to go on, go over that once we finally get confused. Oh, this is our first female junior trainer, so I don't have to cut out this fight. Whew. Well, have I talked enough about the development of the games? I believe I have. I can talk about my experience with these games. You know, I can't talk about the glitch I'm trying to set up until a little bit later, so you'll have to be patient. We will come back for the badge in a little bit. You have to face other trainers to find out how good you really are. That's right. Thank you very much for that advice. And we will come back for that guy right there and Misty in a little while. Even though we didn't take... Did we take any damage? Uh... No. So I'm not gonna heal. There's no point. I just thought, oh, technically we just took on a gym, so I want to heal. But now we can go up here without blue bothering us. There we go, nice and thematic. And you can see we have a trainer ahead in this wonderful song. This is Route 24. 24 and 25 are the highest numbered because these are dead ends. They just lead to the ocean and then back to Cerulean City. So, let's see. Yep, that'll do it for today since I didn't have to cut much out. That was the bulk of Cerulean City. We will train up some and head back for the gym. ASAP, I'm LP Master 6.